Hi everyone. Uh, yes, back again with Baby Kellen. My name is those who have just joined me. My name is Dr. Shafali Chori, and I'm showing you some videos on how to look after your baby in the first few days after you have bring the baby home, um, delivering the baby in the hospital. Right. So I've already shown you two videos so far, how to put the baby in the cot, and I've also shown you how to bathe your baby. Now I'm going to show you how to change a baby's diaper. This is very important, especially. Um, Babies can get baby an epidurious very fast and which can be very traumatic for us as parents as well as for the babies because it's difficult for them to sleep with those epidurious, especially in the humid environment like in Singapore. So let's see how to change baby's diaper and avoid those epidurious. But again, I want to tell you that epidurious sometimes is unavoidable because by right, you should change the baby's diaper as they get wet. But in busy life, even how close you are totally doing confinement with the baby, we don't change the diapers every minute baby drop a urine on that. So with that, it's uh, sometimes unavoidable to having baby's diapers. However, we can prevent as much as it is possible. So let me show you how to change the baby's diaper. We have baby Kalen. I must tell you, he has just passed urine. He's a bit uncomfortable, and um, but he's always very cooperative. So let's see. huh? We're going to change baby's diapers, baby Kellen on the bed. I know he's not going to like it, so avoid. Don't cry, Sayang. Okay, we need a diaper, any brand, and of course, um, a baby's wipes. Some parents like to use just a wet cotton. Some like to use cloth, whatever you prefer. Your in-laws, your parents, whatever they tell you to do, just follow that. Nothing wrong with that. So make sure you don't unnecessarily unwrap the baby so that they don't catch cold. Only the diaper area. How you know where the baby has passed urine? Few ways. One way is the diaper here will feel heavy, yeah. And if you touch, it will have like crystals on the on this um, diaper cotton, uh, which actually get crystalloid when they get the water, urine or anything. You can smell if it's a feces or some diapers nowadays they come up with this line which become yellow. I'm not sure whether you can see this yellow spots on this diaper. That means the baby has passed urine. So once you have done that, uh, you know that baby has passed urine. I'm sorry, honey. Remove. Make sure that this kind of stickers, you fold it so that you don't accidentally uh, stick it onto the baby's skin, which is very sensitive, right? So keep it covered. Get the baby wipes ready. I'm going to use wipes here. But that's what given to us by the hospital. Get one or two ready in your hand, right? Fold it, hold baby's legs and push the diaper down. Okay, honey. And just quickly clean top to bottom. Right? And put one side in the diaper. Again, top to bottom and the crease of the baby. If you have just bathed the baby, then not an issue. Especially for the baby boys, pay attention. I hope the camera can see. You hold the baby's scrotum and then clean it underneath gently. It's very important and for baby boys, we clean that. For female baby, it's going to be just top to bottom like this. Gently. And if baby has passed motion, especially baby boys, clean the penis if required. Take a... You don't really need to dry it because these are the um, wet wipes which can dry very fast. Slide a diaper underneath. Okay, honey. Uh, yeah, sorry, wrong way. Make sure which direction you're going in. Okay, honey. All right. Let me hold you. You hold you. Hold you. Hold you. Put the baby. Slide it down. Okay. All right, honey. We are done. We are done. Auntie is torturing you today, isn't it? Terrible, auntie. How can you do that to me? Oh, I can't see you. That's why. All right. Okay. Okay. And then you make sure you go in and cover on both sides. Let me tell you what is the important things you need to take note. Few things. When you cover the baby with the diaper, make sure you fold it a bit so that the umbilical area is uncovered, number one. Okay, number one. Secondly, it, your two fingers, not more than two fingers can go in because otherwise it's too loose your diaper. And the side of the diapers you can open up, especially if baby has passed motion, sometimes it can slide out from here. So just open it up like that. Right? Cover the baby, swaddle the baby, which I'm going to show you in my next video. And wash your hands. I have something, I think, to clean my hands. We use in hospitals the alcohol. You can just wash your hands. And if baby needs to be fed, feed the baby. So with this, I've shown you how to do the 
changing of the diaper again i'm telling you few things you need to take note is that try to change the diaper as it get wet but sometimes it is not possible and that's the reason baby can have nappy rashes so what you can do is while you have changed the diaper you can invest in a, some uh, nappy rash cream we don't really recommend uh, any particular brand and just uh, sparingly like very little thin layer of the cream you can put on baby's buttock even though they don't have the rashes it can prevent that but please remember don't put a thick layer some parents especially if they see a red redness on the baby's buttocks they put a thick layer of cream they feel that um you know it will prevent or heal the the rash faster but remember we are sleeping with some cream be between our butt how uncomfortable it is so it's the same thing for your baby yeah so just a thin layer if you need to and uh, make sure you clean baby's uh, 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 the the private part from uh, top to bottom and for male babies make sure you clean under the scrotum so thank you very much for watching i'll come back with another video thank you